excited to chat with you today because lots of exciting things are happening. You got the new single out today. You got the fundraiser that you'll be performing at this weekend. But before we get into all that, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about your story and how you started making music. Well, um, so I guess um, I was always you know into music from being a small child I went through you know school just trying to sing when I could um play in instruments all that kind of thing and then I realized Clubland was <laughs> happening and I was like just obsessed and so passionate about it and I I didn't really know how it was going to work out but I just had a really strong connection with the whole scene mm -hmm. and um, I knew that I was not going to go down the conventional route of music there didn't seem to be a pathway to what I could sort of envision for myself so I had to kind of make it myself Hell yeah. um, which I'm still kind of in the process of doing the path twists and turns a lot and um, you know I've seen a lot of changes through my time on this journey and it's um, it's a beautiful Beautiful time right now to be here where I am I can say that for sure absolutely well flash forward to today the new single something I'm going through is officially out what inspired you to put this track together well um I I, I wrote the song um some time ago it was one of those um you know like if you're the kind of person that keeps a diary or you know feels like you need to let certain feelings out at certain times this was one of those sort of moments in time where I was going through a lot of stuff emotional stuff um which you can hear in the lyrics you know um but the beautiful thing about it is it, it was very personal to me it's a very personal song um but i've collaborated with david morales on this to um bring it to life in a really beautiful and positive way so um that i think it has a message that a lot of people can also put their own spin on it and relate to in lots of different ways which is the beauty of a good song hopefully absolutely and you mentioned working with david morales who is also a superstar grammy award winning what was it like working with him honestly we've got such a good connection together um it's um it's it's a really rare and unique thing when you meet somebody in the industry that you you just connect and the music because of that is so much more special you know we'd started kind of talking about doing something together he would picked up on a few things that I was working on um, but this one was really like wow you know we need to finish this I want to finish this with you um, because I just couldn't get back into that space I'd kind of written the song and it was all there and I knew that it was special but I couldn't get back into that mood and David really tapped into that mood just perfectly like he just got it and when the finished version was here it was just like wow like you took it exactly where it needed to go and you know he is he's the maestro really I mean oh. you know he's 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 his work is it speaks for itself so for us to to have collaborated together it just seems to be one of those really special records for us both so I hope people will also respond in that way I have no doubt that they will and I know this Sunday is going to be special because you two are going to be performing it together for the first time at a fundraiser tell me more about that event yeah, so this is a really special event. It's um, it's called Dance for Stevie, mm -hmm. and it's um, fundraising for Steve, who is one half of Bobby and Steve, who are um, a really well-known duo here, and especially in the UK. Um, they were right at the beginning of the um, the house movement here, and um, Steve was unfortunately affected really badly by COVID, and is still really sort of it's a daily struggle and the fundraiser is part of his um ongoing treatment to 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 raise the funds to continue with that so it's a real sort of family affair but people have come together from all over the world like if you look at the lineup it's at ministry of sound in london which is our you know possibly our best club here in the UK um, and it's going to be a really emotional night so I'm going to be singing at the start of David's set it's going to be the first time that we perform live together and the first time for this record and it just seems so 
it, it, it just seems so right to do it here and now in this way so I feel really privileged to be able to contribute that to the night Oh, for sure. It's so nice. I did see the lineup is killer, as you mentioned. So great that so many people could come together for a really good cause. And you mentioned it's in London. Do you know if there will be a way to stream it here in the U.S.? I believe you will definitely be able to see me and David's performance on his Twitch channel. So if you follow David Morales on Twitch, um, he does his um, his weekly sessions on a Sunday, which is coming live from Ministry of Sound. So um, I would say definitely lock in ahead of eight o'clock because I'm going to be performing just before eight o'clock UK time. So, um, yeah, and you can see, uh, honestly, David's set, I know it's just going to be one of those like so if you can tune in definitely do that's amazing i'm so glad that we'll have the opportunity to watch it here that's really special i will definitely be watching what can people expect out of a performance from you dj ray well this is going to be really nice because i can just get lost in the song whilst i know david's there you know on the decks you know you may know that i perform live when i'm djing as well um and the combo thing is you know it comes naturally to me and i love it but i also love just taking the mic and honing in on the song so um i actually I just sort of take these things in the moment. So I'm just going to get lost in it. And I think, you know, that will definitely create the energy that people will kind of hopefully love and just really wrap themselves around the song for the first time. For sure. Have you ever been to America to perform before? Yeah, I used to love coming to Miami, you know, for the music conference. Um, it's been a while because the last time I came was before the pandemic. Um, but yeah, I love coming over there and I just think it's a real refreshing experience. And loads of people that I've worked with are from the US. So a lot of our house influence comes from you and back and forth, vice versa, you know. Yeah. So, um, yes, I would love to come back to you guys very oh. soon. We would love to have you back. That's amazing. I'm sure Miami is just a time and a half. Yeah, it's yes. such a fun place to be. And the weather, oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Sunshine and house beats. What more do you want? Honestly, <laughs> that's living the dream. Well, in the meantime, since we can't maybe get you here quite yet, I know you've been doing Twitch on Saturday mornings. Tell me about that. I actually haven't been doing Twitch of late oh. um, because um, I am a new mom. So, oh, so we're taking a break from Twitch. Yeah, I, I see. Am, yes. I so see. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like um, building up to some yeah. very, very nice live performances. Um, <laughs> I've been doing some, some special shows here in the UK, and then next year is a whole new year for us all isn't it you know it's been very unpredictable I don't know what's ahead but we still have to try and plan positively so I would say definitely keep an eye on what I'm doing because there will certainly be a lot more live to come good that's something to look forward to for sure and we got to talk about this baby because you just mentioned her you're a new mom she's precious I did a little creeping on your Instagram how's motherhood going for you so far oh my gosh amazing um like she's cooing in the background here she's just she's awesome like and and it's just a beautiful addition to everything like it it just makes every day like so much more valuable and precious and I was loving life before but now it's just next level and you know I'm continuing with my musical journey and and it twists and turns and and I roll with it you know and yes. and that's the beauty of it it's um it's just continuing in a really beautiful way so I'm honestly full of joy right now. So, and I've written so much music when I was pregnant as well. So it's continuing the flow of where I am really, you know, it's like my, my diary rolling out and it's um, really organic and, and natural as well. So it feels great. Oh, that's amazing. How old is she now? She is uh, 10 weeks. 10, she's fresh. She's, She's fresh. fresh out of the <laughs> oven. Oh, good for yeah. her. And they do say, you know, after you have a child, you experience this new level of happiness that 
we didn't even know existed before. So that's yeah. that's something to look forward to. That's exciting. That's cool. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. That all, how do you think being a mom has kind of changed the way you work? Have you adapted how you do what you do? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I don't just wake up and think, right, I've got tons of music to to roll into, you know. Mm -hmm. I know that it's um it's here and it's it's sort of it's happening, but I have to just prioritize and then the rest of it, you know, again, it comes naturally. Like I, I think to be a real true artist, you can't force it anyway. Um, but if I feel really compelled to do something, I manage to do it, you know, like I can still get on the mic in between being a mum and uh, the, the production side of things is a little bit more difficult because like I find I need to spend a lot of time if I'm going to produce a record from start to finish. But that's where the beauty of collaboration comes, you know, so I can sort of just work back and forth with people and, and come to the right results you know working with the right people of course I'm, I don't work with many people select people of right. course David Morales being one of them yeah. um very important <laughs> but very important part of the process right now because um maybe you know or not I'm working towards an album for next year so everything that I'm doing is, you know, all part of that, which is really exciting as well. So, you know, as things go along, you find um, ways of managing things even better. I'll have more time here and there than others. So, yeah, it's a juggling act. Being a woman is a juggling act nonstop anyway, right? So yeah. it's just, you know, keep those challenges coming. 100%. <laughs> oh, TJ Ray, I'm glad to meet you. And I think you're such a role model because... As we know, there's not a ton of female DJs or producers as there is. And to show that not only can you do that and be like a dope mom at the same time, you can juggle it. You can do it all. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's really, like I say, it's a special time to be here in the position I'm in. And I really want to create that um that pathway you know so that people young girls coming into the industry can see yes you mm -hmm. can do it it's not easy by any stretch but you can definitely do it and don't let anybody tell you you can't because trust me a lot of people told me that throughout my career and I am here to champion the way forward for women like me oh that's what I love about you a true trailblazer and you actually kind of led me into my next question I was going to ask what you're working on next you mentioned the album when can we look forward to that I can't tell you exactly when because you know how these things are yeah. the albums <laughs> us artists try to work towards the ever-changing time frame but I really hope that um it won't be too late in the year um we're gonna sort of see where next year lies as well you know with the whole world opening up and how it feels so um i can definitely tell you that there are some very special singles that will be rolling so something i'm going through is like the first of a very special little trip that we're going on yes that's awesome well i'm excited for the trip dj ray i love the first stop my final question for you is here in the state of maine our state motto is the way life should be so i want to know according to you what is the way life should be oh my gosh the way <laughs> it's a loaded question <laughs> yeah i bet you've had some really interesting answers to that one over the years on both ends <laughs> of the spectrum <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just believe that life should be true, authentic, and all, as organic as possible. Yeah, Perfect. that's that's it in a nutshell, you know. Yeah. I could elaborate if you wanted to chat to me for hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I do, but I know you got a baby to take care of and music to make, so I won't steal you for too long. But that's perfect. You're right. It should be easy, organic, exactly what we were meant to be. Yeah, for love sure. That. Amazing. Thank you so much for taking time to chat with me today. We love the new single, and I can't wait for the rest on this trip that we're going on together. Awesome. I'm so excited, too. It's really nice to speak to you, and big love to everybody over there. I can't wait to be there one day. Yes, we are the opposite of Miami, but it is a good time nonetheless. <laughs> We'll That's still okay. have fun. It's, fine. it's all <laughs> good. Well, I can't wait to see your performance on Sunday. Kill it out there. 
yes please join us sunday tune in to david morales twitch channel and we will be there yes. amazing thank you dj rain till we meet again thank you Take big care. love